Rachel Ann, you absolutely amaze me, and I stand here in disbelief that I get to marry my best friend. God has given me a love for you that is unlike anything I've ever experienced. This love is not determined by circumstance or situation, but rather a deeply rooted commitment to you as my wife. Through every season, I promise to love you, to lead you, to cherish you, to care for you, and to provide for you, and to pray for you. Words cannot begin to describe the impact that your love has had on my life, and I promise to extend that same love towards you in every possible way that I can. My love, my soulmate, my perfect angel husband-to-be. Standing here with you today is a testament to Jesus' relentless faithfulness, overwhelming grace, and unconditional love. Being chosen to be your wife is the most precious honor that I have ever been gifted. No words can possibly express the limitless love and infinite passion that I have in my heart for you. You are the answer to a million prayers, my earthly reminder that God knew my heart. I continue to feel so undeservingly blessed that the seemingly unattainable love story I always prayed for, God decided to answer with yes. You are my highest standard of man, my dream come to life, and it is with certainty that I can say you have my whole heart. The grace and love that you show me do not fall short of a reflection of how Jesus loves me. Love is both a feeling and a choice, and I promise to choose to love you today and every day from now until eternity. qualities that Rachel wanted in a man and I'm going to share those with you are you guys ready it's a long list so buckle up okay here we go here's her list it's loves Jesus and has a really strong faith trustworthy and loyal funny is healthy is super affectionate and sweet doesn't drink doesn't smoke tall blonde buff and I quote acts like I'm the best thing to walk this earth Now at some point Rachel came into the picture, she was new to Bethel and kind of followed me around. So being the good big brother I am, I introduced her to some of my friends, Ben being one of them. After meeting Ben, she informed me that he was a beautiful man and she was going to marry him. This, mind you, after she had probably said about three words to him. This was not that surprising knowing Rachel, as she's a very lovey person. And uh, fortunately, I have some experience in this situation as I also married one of my best friend's sisters. So I sought him out for some advice, and he basically took a hands-off approach, just let it happen. However, I might have been a little more hands-on and encouraged them to hang out, because I know the type of guy that Ben is. He's one of the most caring, genuine, loyal, and patient people I know. Ben, you are perfect for Rachel. And selfishly, I may have wanted another one of my best friends to be a part of the family. The will of God, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Benjamin, you may kiss your bride. Woo! 